And we're here for another beautiful day of Jugger here at Wasteland City. The Red City Juggers are back, and they are going to face the Boneyard Juggers. Some different players in the lineup today, but uh, same teams, and we're going to see if the Boneyard Juggers can redeem themselves after the pounding they took yesterday. It was just brutal. Uh, I, again, of course, have Max Replica here in the booth. With me is Ruckus. Good to be here, Max. Now, Ruckus, you play with the, uh, you, you are currently on the Red City Juggers, but uh, you had an injury. Yeah, City Buster was good enough to break my spine in three places at one of the last rehearsals, so we are, uh, well, I've been out in the waist uh, recovering, and I will earn my place back and return next year. So you think uh, with your spine broken in three places, you think you'll get back in the game? Yes, I will. All right, well, that is optimistic. I, I, I have my doubts. But let's get going here. We've got uh, the fixer again refereeing the match. The quicks are in position. And there they go, the quicks are off. Wow, what a takedown. Good scroll. That is, the red quick is on top of the gold quick. And the, the helmet is off on the gold quick. He's a scrappy one. Uh, I don't even see where the dogs go. There's so much dust. All right, gold quick going back, trying to set up his offensive line. He's, He's going to get hurt that he, 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 he is risking injury at this point. He's got the chain in front of him, though. That could help. He's making his way. He's almost all the way there. They don't even seem to notice him. He comes around the back, and it's on. Good score. That is, um, that, and that's the match. That's how we like to play this game, fast, hard. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, just a, just a turnaround from yesterday's game. Uh, gold, uh, gold team, the, the um, Boneyard Juggers, getting off to a fast start. Getting closer to All right, well, we have a broken, looks like a, uh, no, just not a broken one, but that's a chain coming off the field. We don't want to have extra extra weapons on there. Now, the quicks are getting ready. Dog Skull's in place. Uh, waiting on the waiting on the gold quick. Do they have a quick ready to go? I don't, I don't know. Uh, it looks like, it looks like yeah, he's just getting a little, uh, little decontamination. He's coming back in, I believe. Getting ready for the signal from the fixer. And they're on the pitch. They're down in position. Now the quick is the only one who can touch that dog score. They're the only ones who can score, and all the other players are there to assist them or stop them. Big hit from the start. Red City team has the ball. Or the skull, I should say. They're behind the stick. He's got two sticks in front. He's making his run. Oh, he Ooh. takes a shot. Takes a shot from the hook there. Uh, now the gold team has it. Gold team has the dog skull. He's he's taking some, a pounding there. Oh, and there comes the other quick. He he stole the stole the skull, and he's wide open. Got to come around the back. He's got a stick in front of him. That they're 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 messing around in the corner. Looks like the referee's gonna put a stop to it. Sounds like we're going to reset. We've had a draw on that one. That quick, uh, the gold quick keeps losing his helmet. Uh, that's how you get a head injury. And of course, that's what happened to Jack, not in the face, Mankowski. Yeah, gear man, it's very, very important in this game. They're doing a little more decontamination on the sidelines. That always helps. Keeps the players fresh. And now the gold, the other gold quick is back in. Now we saw her yesterday. She was fast and she was scrappy, but she got the bejesus knocked out of her. Let's see how she's healed up overnight. She's a veteran. She gets hard. She'll be good. Quicks are ready to go. Gold team up by one at this point. The crowd yelling for her to kick him in the ding dong. That 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 may work. I don't believe that's strictly moving in this game. Well, we are playing under Wasteland City rules. Uh, the quick is backed off. Almost got hit by the chain. Now her own chain comes out. He's putting up a wall for her. Oh, big rush by the red team. Quick trying to figure out what to do. She trips over the other uh, other quick. They're both wrestling for the skull. Looks like the gold quick has got it. She's coming around the right side. 
trying to make a run, scared off by the chain from the red team. Hiding behind the stick, Heath makes a charge. She doesn't follow. She's pushing her player ahead of her, trying to set up some sort of wall, and backs off again, just not liking what she sees from that defense. Hook's doing his job now. In the cloud of dust, she comes up the right side and takes a big shot from the stick. Without seeming too biased, this red team is almost impossible to get through. Yeah, they, they sure put up a wall. Now, she took a shot there on the sidelines. I think the ref's going to have to take a look at her and see if she can continue. Now, there's heart, and then there's just sheer stupidity. She's still in there. I didn't see where she got that hit, uh, so I don't know how serious it might be. But she wants to continue, and they're going to let her. Referee makes the call. The spell is down. She's standing. She's playing. Yes. If you're standing, you're playing. That is sort of how the rule goes here. You don't exactly have MRI machines anymore. This is a game of honor and integrity. These people can't do it. You're right. They'll, they'll be pulled, but yeah. There's no room for there, you know. There's no room for medication or mercy in a game like this. The skull is down. The referee's making a final check about substitutions. No substitutions from the red team. Goodness, this is a good and the quicks are at it. First grab. grab. Good grab from that red quick. He doesn't see, and he's uh, he's backing off. He's backing off. They're trying to set up behind the chain on the gold side. We got the sticks in place on the red team, and let's see how they make their move. Straight up the middle, looks like. He's still hiding behind that stick, and the, he's making his move down the right side. And the quick takes him down. That's her job. Stops him just short of the stick. Good interception by Wolf Gold Goldquick has it. She's coming around, making an end run. Oh, runs straight into the stick again, but she's back up. Another she's trying to get up now. Shot. She's tackled. And I think I've heard a whistle from the fixer. She keeps trying that right side, just can't seem to break through, even with her speed. Wolf Girl is being pulled out. Well, she certainly gave it a go, and after the beat she took yesterday, I'd say that was a gutsy performance. Yeah, she did everything she wanted. She really, really did everything. Now we're doing our substitutions. I believe the score is, it's been a bit of a messy game. I think uh, the score is still uh, Boneyard Juggers up one, despite the play that we've seen by the red team. Yeah, you guys really want to win this time. Because we're playing absolutely 100% better than yesterday. Wow, now this is unusual. We have City Buster, this doesn't happen all the time. City Buster, one of the star players of the, of the, uh, the Boneyard Juggers, is going to be playing for the red team. They were down a man. That's what we call sportsmanship. Now let's see, let's see how hard he plays against his own men. Now, did you ever play against your own like that? Do you pull punches? Do you play just as hard? No, you do not. You play with everything that you have. It doesn't matter what color you're wearing. You're not this game. You're playing to your fullest ability. Knock your friend's teeth out and let them swallow them. I hear you. Here come the quicks. We've got a new quick in for the red team and a new quick in for the yellow team. Let's see how they do. Red quick again gets the skull first. Chain is down on the gold side. And the gold quick tackling the red quick in the corner. I, I'm hearing screaming. I believe one of them, at least, at least one of them is a woman. And here comes the gold quick all alone. Big hop, big shot from the stick, but the stick fell over. That gold quick has some moxie, and he's trying to get in there. There's a stick on top of him. He's just near, just near the goal. Oh, he is. Oh, he was so close, but he's just getting pounded over there. Referee's taking a look. He hasn't blown the whistle yet. They're scrumming. There's so much dust. I see both quicks down. Referee blows the whistle. They're going to call it right there. Wow. Almost another score from the goal team, but just got ugly. You know, do you find that the closer you get to putting that goal on the, putting that skull on the spike, the harder it is to get through these people? The blood just gets up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You move a little closer. You guard your, your goal with everything that you have. You see them moving for it. You break off and you whoever you're fighting, and you get in there and you stop them. All right, we're checking for injuries now, which is a big part of this game. Uh, what the traffic was. It does happen often. And, uh, looks like the red quick, she is... I uh, know oh, that's the gold quick coming off. The red quick's actually checking on her, uh, which is another nice example of sports control. 
Of course, that's not what the crowd comes to see. The players like the sportsmanship. The crowd, it's more about the blood and guts. Everybody wants good violence. And this is the very best kind. I think we're getting ready for the next match. Uh, red quick, I'm still not sure. Is it red or revoke quick there? I'm still not sure if she's coming off or staying on. With as much mixing as we have, we could have substitutions for the inside. All the substitutions certainly make it hard for us up here in the booth. I'm not as long as I used to be. Trying to keep track of all the players' names and all the different colors. Uh, sometimes we'll kind of have to I have trouble with that myself. I've been going to jail for a long time. Now, uh, do, you, uh, do you know which, which player was it again? Maybe we can put you out. That would be City Buster. City Buster. Well, that's why we're calling that. Now, if you had a chance, would you get some payback? That's a tricky question. I, I would play him to the best of my I said like a politician. Now we're going to get ready to start here. Uh, we've got uh, the gold team is, and the original quick from gold is back out there. Um, red quick is down. They've done their salute. And we're ready. Waiting on the whistle from the fixer. Here it is. Oh, Red missed the skull. She thought she had it, but Gold's got it. She's trying to get away from him. Now, can you ever bash the other player in the head with the skull? Is that allowed or not? It's a touchy subject. We don't need to go out of Oh, we got a little shot in there from the gold chain on the red. Outside of the circle, they're fair game. Oh, and a push from behind. She was getting to get her defense set up. That was a nice little move by the Gold Quick. The Red Quick is trying to get to her feet. We got a cloud of dust here. Oh, we could definitely have a player down to close to the sidelines here, but they're going to play on. A big shot from the stick to the Red Quick, who is down. Gold Quick has the skull, trying to get it on, and it's getting nasty over there by that spike. They just can't seem to get it on there. Red City holding on with everything they got, trying to stop it. Yeah, but they Holding your free is going to be a nice stop. It's just, just one stick between the Quick and the spike, though. And it's on! It's on! Wow. And it's two to nothing. Boneyard Juggers versus the Red City. What a turnaround from yesterday. Despite the great play we're seeing from Red City, they can't see the score, and they're not able to stop it when necessary. You know, a lot of the time what happens is this uh, team loses, and when they come back out, they, just, they have blood in their eye, they want revenge. Yeah, and we had one player just puke out there. That's always a, a crowd favorite. Oh, that's not the problem. Yeah. Uh, he's going to go get some, uh, some hot soup and some electrolytes. He'll be back. He's going to need that decontamination. We don't know what came out of there, but something definitely came up when he was on his knees. And they're going to want to decontaminate that. Now, did, did the teams ever poison each other before a match? Could that have happened? No, absolutely not. As I, I said, as, as I said before, he's a game of honor and integrity. Well, I was out in the uh, I was out in the in the wastelands for a while. Uh, and these are these are these are you know Red City jumpers, so I'm not quite used to the more sophisticated game. There are some shenanigans that go out when you get outside the border. That's why those things are not allowed in the league. We, we, uh, we take this game very seriously. This is our life, this is our death. We play for our food, we play for our men, we play for our lives. Well, better you than me. Okay, so the, they're ready to start now. We got the skull back down. Uh, I believe that's the original Red Quick back in there. We did so well yesterday. Uh, but I'm not seeing as much today. Uh, right now, uh, it's possible he's nursing an injury. I just don't know. Uh, but it's, he just doesn't seem to be the same player. Well, injuries not being that common. What we do see a lot of times is guys who get hurt and want to continue to play. And uh, occasionally that can get back, but it looks like if you can, if you can get out there, it will be good. Yeah, they're, they're checking. Uh, looks like he checked in with the ref. And I'm not sure if he's staying or not. And they're calling it. They're calling it. The Boneyard Juggers have won at 2 to nothing. Red City Juggers have lost. So it's a push, basically, folks, for you in the gambling world. Uh, I don't know if you had the over or the under, but I hope you collect your bottle caps. Well, the Red City Juggers did score more points yesterday, but uh, each team won a day. City Buster has this good. Three teams, one lead. Can you talk about what that means? 
That means that anybody that is accepted into the league is expected to perform at the fullest of their ability with everything that they have and to perform with the integrity that we've been talking about. If they, uh, if they engage in the shenanigans like the closing and the reject them, they're gone. They have to be the race when they What we need means that we respect each other as players, as individuals. Anybody who has expected to this pitch might not understand that, but this is a game that is, that is intended to be a way of life. Now these teams uh, are both from the Los Angeles uh, Ruins area, and uh, they do recruit in the offseason. They are looking for new players, uh, partly for the frequency of injuries. Yeah, the recruiting table is always open at the training camp. Anybody interested in playing should step over right here and have a look at some of the players. I'll see if this is for you. And do you have to make your own armor, or does somebody do that for you? No, we build all of our own armor. We create all of our own weapons. We I get it. I get it. It's a low budget league. All right, so now they're going to salute. The salute of the jugger is coming up. Uh, this is a very old and traditional part of the game where the team players uh, go ahead and give each other a salute. In the old days, uh, this would usually result in some sort of melee, uh, and everybody uh, poking and pinching and prodding. But uh, these days, they keep it very clean. So overall, a great tournament this year at Wasteland Weekend for these juggers. Uh, they come from pretty far and wide to come here and play in front of this audience uh, at Wasteland City. And I believe they're going to be playing uh, out in the green zone in about a month. Yeah, absolutely. They will be playing out in the green zone three weekends at the end of November, two games a day. I will be back. Um, Come out, enjoy it. It's uh, it's going to be an open event. Thank you, folks, uh, for Max Replica and Ruckus. Uh, we're here signing off in the booth from Wasteland City's Juggernaut.